Welcome to another video from EarnPed.com. I'm Stevie B. Happy to have you all with me today as we are out here still hunting us some Dobbies. That is right. We are doing some Dobby hunting. So today I want to make a video that kind of ties in with something from a video the other day because I got a question from somebody that was emailed to me about this specific topic and it's something I've been wanting to cover for a while. So we're just going to go ahead and run with it. So the question was about Rocktropia. First off, why don't I cover more about Rocktropia? And then something very specific about Rocktropia itself for new and low level players. A good opportunity that Rocktropia tends to have. So I actually tried to email NeverDie the other day through his official email for NeverDie Studios. The email immediately bounced back. So if anybody actually knows how to get a hold of NeverDie, I would love to know how because I would like to try and reach out to him, if at all possible, just to kind of see what's going on, what's up, see if I can get some inside information. The big problem with Rocktropia is simply that it's not really taken care of on the development side. We still don't even have codecs added for Rocktropia yet. And that's a shame because Rocktropia is actually my favorite planet in-game. I like the style. It's kind of got that Grand Theft Auto look to it, that Hollywood look, and that is more my speed than sci-fi. I really kind of prefer that over sci-fi, to be honest. So, from a theme standpoint, Rocktropia has always been my favorite. In fact, it's one of the reasons I first started playing. I wanted a castle on Rocktropia. I wanted a vampire pet. Uh, I wanted all kinds of stuff on Rocktropia, and they've got some really cool instances, they've got some really cool opportunities for players. The problem is, because of the, of the lack of development, it's more or less a dead planet at the moment. And this is a problem we had with Next Island prior to the development team finally getting it right about two, three years ago. If the development team doesn't properly develop the planet, if the opportunities aren't there, the players won't come. And without that development, and without those opportunities, without players coming, then the economy really kind of ceases to function. The auction on Rocktropia is more or less dead, and that just makes it really hard to do anything. Plus, most of the people you'd want to trade with are going to be on different planets. They're going to be on Next Island. They're going to be on Arcadia. They're going to be on Calypso. So it really, really makes it hard without Rocktropia being a destination players want to go to, that they want to camp out for weeks or months on end. It makes it very difficult. I would love to shoot hundreds, if not thousands, of videos over Rocktropia because I love the place. But the lack of development has kind of killed it. So, that being said, if we could just get Codex on Rocktropia, that would be enough for me to go camp Rocktropia for a good long while. There are a ton of missions on Rocktropia that I would love to do, not just individual missions like the last stage of the Hater mission. But there are entire mission chains, probably one of the most brutal mission chains in-game, if not the most brutal mission chain in-game. I, I think I, it would qualify for the most brutal. It's something I've wanted to do since I very first started playing. However, it makes no sense to do that without Codex. So if I could get Codex on Rocktropia, I would go do, do the NWO prison chain, the escape chain, the company chain. I would go all the way through going into the NWO prison all the way to being able to get through 10,000 werewolves and tame a vampire chick pretty much without stopping if we just had codex but the problem is without codex I really can't justify doing that and that's a shame because that's always been one of my biggest goals in game is to just knock that bad boy completely back completely out and be able to tame vampire chick pets so it's a real shame that codex hasn't been added yet and I don't know how they're going to deal with it. I know at some point they will. At some point, we will have Codex on Rocktropia. I just don't know what the holdup is. I don't know if there's maybe a legal situation I'm not aware of that is a holdup. I just don't understand. Because we should have had Codex rolled out on Rocktropia by now. So that being said, the question I got was the player had heard from other players that the very, very low-level, almost puny-like vixens on Rocktropia drop loot called Golden Android Gears, or Vixen Android Gears, I should say. Not Golden, Golden's Arcadia. Vixen Android Gears is what I meant to say. And those Vixen Android Gears have markup of like 400 to 450%. And they wanted to know if this was true and if this was indeed a good opportunity for low-level players. 
So, yes, the low-level Vixen on Rocktropia, which are usually really, really close to Club Never Die, like right outside in the parking lot, they do drop Vixen Android Gears. Yes, those Vixen Android Gears do have 400, 425, 450, 475% markup, depending on the day, the week, the month, blah, blah, blah. So, why do they have that markup? Well, first of all, they have that market because they're used to make D-Class mining amps, which is a really big mining amp. It's kind of like a level 13 mining amp, but obviously it's not a level 13, it's a D-Class, <clears throat> right? Different blueprint, different planet, blah, blah, blah. So players who are going to construct those D-Class mining amps, they have to have those Vixen Android gears. And if you're a higher level player who can craft D-Class mining amps, do you want to go hunt thousands of Vixen to get Vixen Android gears, or do you just want to buy them off auction? Again, I made a video the other day, by the time you can loot what you want to loot, you no longer need it. Well, there's also the inverse. Sometimes you're more than capable of looting what you want to loot, but it makes no sense at your level to spend hours, days, weeks, months grinding out mobs to get that loot when you can just go pay a little bit of markup and get on with what you're wanting to get on with. So this is kind of the reverse of my video the other day. Anybody can go get these Vixen Android gears, even a brand new player. However, for high-level players, it makes more sense to just buy them. So one of the things they said was, uh, how do I do that with the auction on Rocktropia being so slim, with there being so few buyers and it just seeming so hard to sell things on Rocktropia? Well, the answer is you don't sell them on Rocktropia. The answer is you farm them on Rocktropia and then you sell them on Calypso. <laughs> that is the entire shtick right there, and that's where it makes it hard for new players because you have to get those Vixen Android gears through lootable PvP space to Calypso and then sell them on Calypso's auction house. So it requires you to A, be able to get them there safely, and B, figure out how you're going to do it. So you have to not only get them there, but you have to do it safely, right? And cheaply. So how many Vixen Android gears at 450% markup are you going to have to loot? in order to get a warp from Rocktropia to Calypso, but still make it profitable. Quite a few. How are you going to smuggle them safely for free? Is there even a way it can be done? These are all things that go into it because it's not as simple as just farming them and throwing them on auction. You've got to get them here safely and cheaply. And a lot of times you can do safely or you can do cheaply. It's very hard to do both. It's not impossible, it's just very hard. So, that being said, that's one of the reasons I haven't covered stuff like that. Do I plan to? Yes. Do I plan to do it tomorrow? No. Is it worth mentioning today? Probably. I would love to make all those videos about Rocktropia and more, but like I said, without the development team behind it, without Codex, without constant development, it's not going to be a player destination. Without a player destination, it makes it very difficult to have a functioning economy on Rocktropia, which is why it's just better to bring that loot to Calypso to sell it. So there's a number of factors as to why I don't cover Rocktropia a whole lot, but they're mainly due to the development. If the development would get right, then everything else would follow. I told this to the Next Island developers, and they tried to tell me I was wrong, but then they did exactly what I told them to do, and it's worked like a charm. Turns out whenever you develop the planet, and you realize that players are in this game because it's a real cash economy, and you cater to that, the players come. They camp. They move. They stay. They don't go home. Ever. So it does work, and if Rocktropia and the development team behind it would get this fact going, there's a lot of cool stuff I'd love to cover on Rocktropia. But yes, the Vixen Android gears, they do drop. They do drop from the low-level Vixens right outside Club Never Die. Anybody can go hunt them. They do have a very low TT value. It's akin to the bone samples that drop from puny creatures on Calypso. You're not going to get a Vixen Android gear every single kill. If you could do that, then even the higher level players would take a couple hours to just go bang out, you know, a couple thousand Vixens and have their their Android or their Vixen Android gears. The problem is you're not going to get one every single kill. It is going to be a pain in the butt to farm them, but if you're willing to put in the time and effort to farm them, if you play smarter, not harder, yes, there is a chance that that 450% markup could potentially make you a profit or could at least make your bankroll go a lot further could at least extend your play life quite a bit. So there is an opportunity there. The question is how good. And like I said, the biggest problem with it isn't even farming them. The biggest problem is simply getting them back to Calypso. Because, like I said before, most people can do it safely or cheaply, but very few people can do both.
there are ways you just got to figure it out so there's a lot more i would love to cover on rocktropia there's a lot i've never even done on rocktropia that i've been waiting to do there's an entire section of rocktropia called hunt the thing has all kinds of cool freebies and it was designed for low and mid-level players i, I don't want to say low uh, lower and mid-level players and it's literally just like the movie the thing you're hunting the thing it's got this whole antarctica vibe to it there are all kinds of cool stuff more than i can name if i just tried to list off the 20 coolest things about rocktropia off the top of my head and it's really unfortunate that rocktropia has essentially become a dead planet due to dead development so like i said i don't know what the deal is i don't know if there's litigation i don't know if never die just really has lost interest or if it became non-profitable for him for some reason but i would love to see rocktropia come back to life the way next island came back to life i think it will i just don't know when so will i be shooting more videos over the topic yes does rocktropia have great opportunities for new and low level players absolutely however there's a few things mainly codecs that need to be done before that's going to be completely true so that's why you won't see me there a lot unfortunately so i'm kind of that's more or less it for the rocktropia thing I, I really don't have more to add to it because that pretty much sums up the entire debate but if you're going to be out exploring if you're just going to go around looking at different planets don't avoid rocktropia just because it does have problems check it out because it is really really cool place to check out it's literally my favorite planet so that being said i'll leave it there for today i know this is a little bit shorter video than usual but that's pretty much it on the subject so for now smack smack sip sip y'all know the rest head over to earnped.com because when you earn we earn that's by far the best way you guys can help support us when you log into your earnped account just use the links on the website to go directly to hideout.tv hideout will see that you came from earnped it will add earnped as a drop down option for you to redeem your points and you will be good to go be sure and subscribe to the youtube channel and click that bell icon to know when we're no posting new content if you guys will do that and if you will be sure and like every single video then those three things will signal to youtube that they need to give our videos more exposure they will put these videos in front of people who play mmos pc based games people who are interested in real cash economy gaming and a lot of times it's the very first time a player has ever been exposed to entropia these are people who play other games but youtube is smart enough to know they might be interested in entropia and guess what they're usually right what usually ends up happening is after a couple of months of watching the videos that person downloads entropia now they're at camp icarus now they're starting to climb the skill chain they're moving on to exosaurs at north swamp camp next thing you know they're buying armatrix we armatrix weapons off auction and they may very well be buying those from you at some point so there could be players that are in this game right now simply because you clicked the like button or the subscribe button or the bell icon six twelve eight months ago so you don't just help us out you help the channel you help the game you help the community and you're really just helping everybody including yourself so we appreciate it the game appreciates it and you should appreciate it too we'll leave it there for today we've got a lot more coming i'm going to try and cover some stuff on siren and next island over the next week or so also don't hold me to that but i'm going to make an attempt at it so for now sip sip smack smack take care stevies